Keeping the pressure on for a fair vote, I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Ladies and gentlemen, you are an amazing audience. Over the Christmas break, as the story of democratic reform broke, as the Trudeau liberals doubled down on their promise to change our voting system without a referendum, you responded to our call. We launched a petition at lettusvote.ca, and so far, nearly 10,000 people have responded. This over the Christmas break, when most Canadians are rightly thinking about anything else but politics and news. It's an amazing response, but the truth is, we need it to be bigger. We need to be 50,000 or more Canadians telling the government, hold on, we demand a vote before the electoral system is changed. And it's not just me here at The Rebel saying this, it's not a left-right issue, it's not a conservative versus liberal issue, this is about democracy. In the last week, we've had former Liberal Cabinet Minister Ujjal Dessange come out against changing the voting system without either a referendum or unanimous vote in Parliament. He said, It is my view any major change to the first-past-the-post electoral system, unlike electoral term change and the proposed change to the appointment of senators, is a major quasi-constitutional change. It mustn't be made by a simple majority vote and those in Parliament representing only 39.5% of the electorate. Dessange isn't the only Liberal to see things this way. Gordon Gibson, a longtime Vancouver Liberal, opens an op-ed in the Globe and Mail this way. The Liberal government plans to use its parliamentary majority to force a constitutional change, electoral reform, without holding a referendum. In the year 2016, this is flatly wrong. And then, there's Warren Kinsella, war room pioneer, Liberal backroom expert, former staffer and candidate who wrote a column titled, 10 Reasons Why It's Wrong to Change Our Electoral System in the Way the Change is Being Proposed. The Prime Minister is trying to pass off anyone opposed to electoral reform without a referendum as a Conservative just desperate to save some future Tory government. That's hardly the case. Dessange, Gibson, Kinsella, they're all Liberals through and through. And they're, they're not the only Liberals against this. There's many Liberals like them across the country, just as there are New Democrats that want electoral reform, but also a referendum. Yet if you listen to the Minister of Democratic Institutions who's in charge of this file, she says there's no need to go to the public on this. We're going to engage in a thoughtful and thorough process about the various electoral reform options available. Unlike the previous government, we have every interest in making sure that the voices of Canadians are heard throughout this process. The Trudeau government is calling this democratic reform, but they want to skip the democratic part of it. And we need to tell them no. We need to demand a say. So whether you support changing the electoral system or keeping it the way it is, the people of Canada should get a vote on any changes before they happen. So how can you help? Well, if you've already signed the petition, thank you. If not, please sign it now at lettusvote.ca. But like I said, we need 50,000 or more to sign this petition, and that's where you come in. We need you to share the petition as well. Share this page, lettusvote.ca, with the, at least five of your friends or family members by email. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Tell your friends about it over a coffee or a beer. Those that want democratic reform without having a democratic vote, they're already organizing. Lead Now is pushing for this. They want it to go through as it is. But I say a vague promise for some kind of change, a short line in an election platform in an election where the winning party took just 39% of the vote, that's not a mandate for wholesale change of the system. So you can have your say at lettusvote.ca and help spread the word to as many Canadians as you can.